Cyclone Bulbul, India and Bangladesh evacuate thousands from storm. Officials urge people to evacuate their homes in preparation for Cyclone Bulbul. Thousands have been urged to move to storm shelters before the storm makes landfall. Authorities in India and Bangladesh have ordered the evacuation of nearly half a million people as Cyclone Bulbul makes its way over the Bay of Bengal. The storm has begun making landfall near Sagar Island in Indian West Bengal, and is expected to unleash surges as high as 7 feet 2 meters. Two people have already been killed by the cyclone, local media report. News script taken from BBC. All clips may not match the story. Watch to learn English the way you've learned your mother tongue as this video is specially made. Along with evacuations, there have also been a number of seaports and airports closed in the region. Forecasters expect the storm to move north, weakening gradually. It is set to reach wind speeds of up to 120 km per hour, 75 miles per hour, with gusts of 150 km per hour, and create tidal surges in the sea and rivers when it hits the coastal regions, says the Bangladesh Meteorological Department. Along its predicted path is the Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest and home to the endangered Bengal tigers. More than 60,000 people were moved away from the northeastern coast of India, while the Bangladeshi government said it had evacuated 400,000. But the closure of transport hubs has left thousands of other people stranded on islands off the coast, including St. Martin's Island in Bangladesh. Indian authorities said military ships and planes have been put on standby to assist with emergencies. Bangladesh's low-lying coast is often hit by deadly cyclones, but the country has successfully reduced the number of casualties in recent years. Early cyclone warning systems have improved, giving authorities more time to evacuate people. More cyclone shelters have also been constructed to protect local residents. The World Meteorological Organization, a UN body, maintains a list to name tropical cyclones around the world. The names of the deadliest ones like Typhoon Haiyan or Hurricane Katrina are retired and replaced. Countries in the regions of hurricanes, typhoons and cyclones send suggestions for the list to the Global Met Authority. Eight countries in our region, which covers the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea, sent the list to the WMO during the early 2000s, a senior scientist with the Indian Meteorological Department told the BBC. Nearly 50% of those names for cyclones have been exhausted. The agreement between the countries in our region then was to make sure that the names do not hurt religious sentiment in our countries. The science, how storms form air rises quickly when it is heated by warm seawater. As the air cools down again it is pushed aside by more warm air rising below it. This cycle causes strong winds. Over the sea, a tropical storm can whip up huge waves. When these waves reach land they can flood large areas, including towns and cities. Over land the strong winds can cause a lot of damage, they can flatten homes, knock over trees and even tip over cars. Mankut is forecast to strike northern part of Philippines on 14 September. Scientists say the temperature of ocean water is going up and that can lead to hurricanes increasing in intensity in the future. They add that a hotter atmosphere can also hold more water, so this should allow hurricanes to dump more water on affected areas. There are many factors which make the relationship between climate change and hurricanes a complex one. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.